What's up Thrashers and welcome back once again to the Thrash Maniac 99 YouTube channel and I am back for another album review for you guys. This weekend we had a couple of big ones and this was originally going to be posted yesterday but I didn't have the time to check the album out until now. So I am here today to talk about the new 8th studio album from German industrial metal legends Rammstein and their album Zeit. So, don't feel like I need to go into a history lesson about Rammstein. I feel like everybody who's watching this video knows about the band and their history. Also, I did review their last album that came out in 2019, and here we are three years later with a new album. Now, of course, this was not a planned album for the band. They pretty much wrote this whole thing during the pandemic, recorded in late 2020, early 2021, but didn't come out until well over a year after it was finished. So, but we finally got it here. So the question is, how is this album? Well, I say we go right into it and find out. So, and also apologies in advance if I get these pronunciations incorrect because I don't know German. So there you go. So Hannah from the Horseman Podcast, if you're watching this, please don't kill me. So we kick things off with Army der Tristan, or Army of the Dreary in translation. Starts off with some cool keyboards and drums to kind of build some tension heading into Till Lindemann's voice coming in. And the riff comes in to bring in more tension before a break happens. Then it's followed by more guitars. And the riffs going on on this track are fairly simple, but it serves the song well to provide a backdrop for the atmosphere being created. The keyboards throughout this track kind of have this almost 80s synth vibe to it, and that's going to be apparent in quite a few tracks throughout this album. But even with those 80s synths coming in, it does have a little bit of a somber quality to it attached, which I thought was quite unique. Then we get into track number two, the title track, Zeit, which is Time in um, German. Starts off with soft piano and somber soft vocals to start us off on a more somber and sad note. Till's voice comes in with this like agonizing feel to it. And then the chorus comes in and there's this gothic feel happening all throughout and just brings in more darkness and more drama to the song. The guitars gradually come in to bring in some tension on top of that darkness. And then the drums and the riff that comes in the second chorus has this gothic doomy feel to it. And you're going to hear me say in those two words quite a bit throughout this review. Even a dark, uh, like a dark melodic tremolo riff comes in as well to make the song even more sad and depressing, it seems. Track number three, Shores, or Black. More soft pianos right out of the gate, and then suddenly, tension comes in with the drums and Till's voice kind of co-mingling along. Some clean guitars can be heard in the background to add more atmosphere. Then the chorus comes in, and once again, bringing back that gothic, doomy feel, as the riff is just really dark and thick and doom-laden. Um... Where the hell was I on the notes? Oh yeah, so then the bridge keeps that dark riff and the piano combination alive to maintain the darkness within. And even some orchestral parts can be heard too as it comes in to provide even more to that atmosphere on top. Giftig or Toxic sends and wailing vocals right away before a driving speedy riff. I wouldn't necessarily call it a thrashy riff, but it's more of a speedy riff that comes in along with the keyboards kind of playing off of each other. The verses have these atmospheric keyboards and guitar sounds to provide a trippy vibe. And then the chorus brings back that heavy riff to add some intensity. And the bridge brings back those synths while the guitars provide a tense backdrop behind those synths. Then we get to Zigzag or Snip Snip. Dramatic keyboards and chants to begin this song before another driving riff comes in briefly before the verse comes in with some grooving buildup in the chorus 
which has this almost ACDC vibe, like in the riff and the beat, but done in Rammstein's own unique way. And it's a quite catchy riff and beat throughout, and though the bridge has this really cool bass line, and it stands at attention to build up to the final chorus. And the bass definitely has a lot of moments of shine throughout this entire album. Then we get to OK or On Condom or On A Condom or Without A Condom, so lyrically you can uh, picture that if you will. But uh, starting off with some opera vocals, which was really unique, leading to more synths and eventually some thrash comes in, like a real thrashy riff shows up. One of my favorite riffs of the entire album. The verses bring in more, or builds up more tension along with, I cannot get my words right. The verses build more tension with the bass and synths kind of playing along together. Then the chorus gets into that heavy thrash riff. It's simple, yet really fun. And the synths bring back that 80s vibe once again. Then the bridge changes up that thrash riff a little bit to help build more towards the final chorus, and then afterwards the riff chugs along in a vicious groove, but has some epic atmosphere in the background to bring this track to a close. Uh, then we get to uh, Mine Tranen, or Mine Tranen, My Tears. Soft and somber clean guitars right out of the bat, right off the bat, and then after Till's vocals come in, we get another dark, gothic, doomy riff to add more somber atmosphere that's going to add more to that somber atmosphere happening. The chorus provides more emphasis on that dark, somber atmosphere, and it's just driven by the keyboards, the guitars, and the vocals to, like, carry you on a journey. Throughout the track, the bass keeps the song at bay whenever the guitars are not present. We even get a lead section, and it's not really like a uh, like a shred solo, it's more of like a feeling solo, like it's more about providing more to that stark, somber atmosphere, more than just creating like this heroic moment of like, hey, look at how much I can shred, let's actually do a lead that feels like it has a purpose to it, and it's all about providing feel and darkness. Then we get to angst or fear, marching drums and riff coming in right out of the right out of the right out of the gate. God, I, I cannot get my words straight today. It comes in right out of the gate in a nice groove. The verses is driven by the bass and even some faint mellotron, and then the chorus has this dark, heavy feel to it with the guitars and the vocals. The bass lines all over the song stand out quite well to keep a driving rhythm going strong. And even the bridge brings in this, like, transmitter effect as it sounds like Till is speaking over a radio, followed by his voice getting gritty and agonizing once again. Then we get to Dick Titten, or Fat Tits. <laughs> again, picture that if you will. Some cool circus music starts off, and then little by little the guitars come in along, and then the guitars come in more fully in a vicious, heavy fashion. One of the best riffs of the album, I would say, for sure. The verses keep chugging along while atmosphere is building in the background, and then the chorus starts off in a more upbeat fashion and pretty much stays that way. And even after the second chorus, that circus vibe comes back playing along, to the main riff. Then we get Lugan or Lies. The keyboards starting off on this track sounds more like a lullaby before Till's vocals come in with that very low, like almost like he's speaking to you in a dark way. Then suddenly, or suddenly, a driving tremolo riff comes in for a moment before it gets back to those soft keyboards to calm things down before the chorus comes in with that tremolo riff but with an epic backdrop coming in. And the vocals and the bridge go everywhere, however, I can't help but feel like part of his vocals on the bridge were a little auto-tuned and I think they were probably doing that just for dramatic effect. If not, then holy shit, Till's voice is just going everywhere and to places that I never really heard his voice go to in the past. 
Then we get to the final track, Adieu or Farewell. Dark, dramatic piano and ambience starts us off on a more suspenseful note before we get a heavy, doomy riff. And the verses bring in another driving bass line, but the piano provides that dark atmosphere in the background. And the chorus brings in this kind of like uplifting quality, but maintaining that dark, doomy feel throughout. And even towards the end, some cool, tasty, clean guitars to kind of finish off the song and the album on a more happy note. But overall... This was a fun album for the most part. It's like, it's definitely a lot different than the last one that came out in 2019 than the Untitled. Because the Untitled, it was more about like, almost like a party vibe for the most part with a couple of tracks that have a more darker overtone on top. Here, this was definitely more dark. It had more of that, like, gothic, doomy influence coming in on certain riffs and beats. But you still get a couple tracks that feel like standard Rammstein tracks, like um, Zigzag and Without a, or a OK, like those songs. Definitely felt like classic Rammstein for the most part. And even, like, Giftig has that to it as well. However, I would say my main gripes I had with this album is that maybe it was a little too synth-drenched and not enough emphasis on the guitars for the most part. I mean, when the guitars show up, the guitars definitely provided heaviness and just solid riffing, even if it is rather more on the simplistic side. But I couldn't help but think that this album was maybe a little too synth-drenched and... Then again, then also on the track Lugan or Lies, like, I couldn't help but think, like, Till's vocals towards the end, like, in the bridge, got a little bit auto-tuned, and I feel like if Till is able to do that by himself, he didn't need to do the auto-tune, but even with that, it was done for dramatic effect. So, and then of course, the riffs can be a little bit simplistic and predictable, but a lot of them were quite catchy, especially on Zigzag for the most part. But overall, this is a solid album. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. It's definitely a solid, it's a good album. I actually think I kind of like it a little more than the Untitled by Hair. But yeah, maybe with more subsequent listens, this might go up in score, but for now, it's a 7.5 out of 10. It's solid. I definitely recommend you guys check it out for yourself, form your own opinions. But uh, yeah, that is my review of Zeit by Rammstein. Let me know in the comments section below what did you think of this album, and until next time, horns high. See you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Shit Tech's brand new shit can. This revolutionary on-the-go product will be the biggest savior of your life. Say you're at a hotel that doesn't have any toilets, or you're stranded out in the middle of nowhere as your car breaks down, you can take the Shit Tech shit can with you if you need to take a dump, piss, or puke whenever you need to. Yep, you can never go wrong with GIF Media Files. Um, you are aware it's pronounced GIF, right? Oh no, silly, this is a GIF! Damn it, we don't even have spam in here! Whoa!